their opinion, what they would say is truth. Stay away from the things that you know, don't line up in the scriptures. Things that you know you know just don't sit right with the spirit. You may be, you know, you may not know the scripture to look for offhand, but if something doesn't feel right, then the Lord's telling you this is, you know, you feel this doesn't seem right. Search it out, ask a question, talk to your pastor. We've got two sitting on the couch tonight. Don't rush them all at once. Make sure things measure up against you know, the standards that God has set for us. Uh, let's turn to Romans 12. While you're doing that, I'm going to read out of Philippians 4. Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are a good report, if there be any virtue, if there any, be any praise, think on these things. Do not be deceived. Line things up with all the things that we just heard there are true and lovely and pure and of good report. We'll finish in Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now, when you, when you read that, I say holy, acceptable, you could also hear that holy with a W, with a W without the comma, holy, acceptable. Holy and acceptable and holy, acceptable. I like, you know, I like to think it's, it goes a bit, a bit both ways there. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, that every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according to, uh, as God has dealt to every man in the measure of faith. Go on, I won't. The assumptions that the world will make about themselves, about the things that they see, maybe about the things that you believe, they don't line up with what you know. You know you have the Spirit of God within you. You speak in tongues, you've been baptized, you've got that promise. The promise that is there, it's clearly written, it says, I will do this. When this happens, when you repent, I will fill you with the Spirit. No assumption made. When this happens, this happens. The world, the you know, organised religion, if you like, as well, would uh, say, oh, no, this has happened because you believed. But don't get fooled by it. Preaching to the, the choir here, I know. <clears throat> We're not fooled by it. Don't get fooled by the world. Don't get stuck in. Don't think that everything's okay and because someone tells you it's okay. Try it against the word of God. Try it against the spirit that's inside you, you know, that little conscience that you have. Walk in that way. Don't lift yourself up ready for a fall, but be humble for the Lord to raise you up. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. Amen. <laughs>